Time now for the evening rush. Some Santa Fe residents say a man is harassing Hispanic vendors while carrying a gun. Photos of this man in a Trump shirt have been shared thousands of times on social media. The protesters say he has been asking Hispanic vendors and musicians about their immigration status. The man says the claims are false. Police say he is not breaking any laws. Vice President Mike Pence will be in Artesia next week for a rally. Pence is scheduled to speak on Wednesday at the United States-Mexico-Canada Agreement trade event. The president, along with the leaders of Mexico and Canada, signed that agreement earlier this year, but it still needs approval from Congress. New Mexico could possibly be affected by an appeals court decision. The ruling blocks the Trump administration from rejecting asylum seekers coming into the United States if they have crossed through a third country first. This targets people from Central America. But the federal court only oversees California and Arizona, meaning the rule could still apply in New Mexico. As far as rain goes, it is not happening for the next couple of days in New Mexico. So for the weekend, don't have to worry about rain. The only thing you got to worry about is some serious heat on the way, especially for eastern New Mexico. Could be talking about record-setting heat for places like Artesia and for Roswell tomorrow. Connor, thank you. The woman accused of driving high on meth and killing a real rancho teacher will spend a maximum of 10 years behind bars. In 2017, Carolyn Sanchez rear-ended Matt Harvey while high at Eubank and Academy, killing him. After her sentence, she will serve five years supervised probation. El Paso City leaders are planning a permanent memorial for the victims of the mass shooting. Right now, there is a makeshift memorial directly behind the Walmart where a shooter claimed the lives of 22 people. Action taken Tuesday by the El Paso City Council directed city staff to begin researching where the permanent memorial should be built. Graduates of Laguna Acoma High School are searching for answers. This after one of their classmates' names was painted over by the school. Javon Solomon was shot and killed in April of 2018 in Las Cruces. Investigators later determined that shooting was an act of self-defense. The artist of the mural says the principal told them the school was getting complaints about Javon's name being painted on the mural. Still no official word from the school. An arrest warrant is out for a woman accused of helping a shooting suspect evade police. Police say Jared Olguin shot and killed Matthew Shaw at a car wash. Police issued an arrest warrant for 28-year-old Clarissa Halls. They say she lied about her relationship with Olguin and tried to conceal his whereabouts. UFC champion John Bones Jones pleaded not guilty to a battery charge. Jones accused of inappropriately touching a cocktail waitress at a strip club last April and putting her in a chokehold. Now to a recall alert, Tyson is recalling more than 39,000 pounds of the company's Weaver brand frozen chicken patty product. They say the fully cooked chicken could be contaminated with extraneous materials. Potentially affected chicken product was produced on January 31st of this year. Historians are preserving etchings in the Palace of the Governors in Santa Fe. And here you can see etchings in the four corners of the Pouye Room with several small designs, one looking like a person, another like a bird. They are seen in a photo from 1915. Historians believe the drawings could be copies of native southwestern rock art. Work is beginning to wrap up on the De Anza Motor Lodge, the motel built in 1939 has now been turned into luxury apartments. Today, the old sign with a fresh coat of paint went up, and soon the Zuni murals that filled that motel will be on display in the main common area. 15 of 40 units have been set aside for a boutique hotel. It's been a while. Finally, no rain in the forecast for the weekend, but some serious heat on the way. We're talking mid-90s for Albuquerque. Got the Metro Threat Index at a 3 for tomorrow. Brittany? A man from northern New Mexico will be featured on CNN. Many of our kids come to us traumatized. I just want to see them happy. Roger Montoya is the founder of Moving Arts, a community center for kids and teens in Española. The center provides classes in visual and performing arts, free healthy meals, and academic help for those who may not have support at home. The San Juan Generating Station is getting a new owner and is expected to stay open longer. Current owner PNM wanted to close it in 2022. The city of Farmington says They've signed an agreement for Enchant Energy to take over 95% ownership of the station. The company will use new technology, they say, to reduce carbon emissions. 
A new restaurant is making its debut at the top of Sandia Peak. 10-3 pays tribute to the mountain's 10,300 feet elevation. There are two main rooms, one providing a more casual dining experience from mornings and afternoons, and the other is for a formal dining experience in the evening. The Comic Expo happening all weekend in Albuquerque, and it's expected to benefit the city. The mayor and city economists say stars like Jason Momoa and Elijah Wood will draw large crowds who will likely spend large amounts of money helping local vendors, boosting hotel sales, and more. That event runs until Sunday. All Things Chile will be celebrated at the National Hispanic Cultural Center. That is where the Bosque Chile Festival is happening. There will be plenty of local vendors, a fun run, and a red or green poetry contest. For details on the festival, go to always on at krqe.com. Another last-minute addition to the musical lineup for Westside Summerfest. The city announced today Ivan Uliberry and Cafe Mocha will hit the stage tomorrow. The local group is known for its blend of Latin styles. It comes after headliner Starship canceled. It's happening tomorrow from 5 to 10 at Ventana Ranch Community Park.